Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris. So, let's continue where we left off, and what I think we should do now is build up our fleet to maximum naval capacity and then declare war on someone. I think it's about time. It will take a while to build up to naval capacity, but that's what we're going to work on. I might update the design with some shields. Let's have a look. There's our corvette. I think we could install some shields. We only got crappy level 1 shields. And I can't really install shields only, because then I won't have enough power. Well, unless I do something like this, but I don't think that's worth it. Then we'll have 15 excess power. This will be good enough. So, save. Alright, it's not really a big difference, but shields are generally better than armor early on. How much will it cost us to upgrade? Oh yeah, this fleet is already being upgraded. Carry on then. So, let's start some corvettes. The more the better, we'll need a lot to hit naval capacity. Not going to bother with destroyers right now. Alright, we need more minerals as well. And we need to keep expanding, that's still the plan, obviously. We will get more colony ships. There are quite a few planets we can colonize, and just let the sector work on that. That's what we're going to do. Any systems we can survey? Let's have a look. Without aliens. Let's see, some of these, I suppose. We should definitely check them out. Might be something we can colonize in there. Merge the fleet. Oh yeah, that one was still upgrading. That's fine. Okay. Maximum speed for now. Not much is actually happening. I'll wait for 350 minerals and start another colony ship. Because we need more colony ships. Obviously. How's our research? Not anywhere close to finishing anything, that's fine. Rivalry ended, alright. That's interesting. They don't consider us rivals anymore. Well, probably because they can't really defend themselves. We found an anomaly. Okay, hold on. 55% failure risk is a little bit too much. We could try another scientist. This guy is only level 2. Yeah, we could try another scientist. Where is he exactly? Over here. There's the anomaly. Okay, I'll just send the other scientist. Is she quite done? Not really. But let her finish the survey. And someone died, great. One of our governors. Oh, on Earth. Okay. We can hire another one. Anyone useful in here? Minus 43% leader recruitment cost. Clear blocker cost and clear blocker time. I actually kind of like that. Not for Earth, but we got quite a few planets where we could use that. Alright, let's have a look. Which planet has the most blockers? This one? Yeah, probably that one. This one has a lot still. Or this one. Yeah, this one has a crap ton of blockers. Alright. Off you go. Any other useful governors? No, we are at 10 out of 10 leaders. Can't hire anymore. Let's start that colony ship. Like so. Alright, looks good. And more corvettes, and go back to continue the upgrade. Merge the fleet first. Come on people, merge the fleet. Go, go, go. And build some corvettes. The nice thing about corvettes is that they have very high evasion. It can still be countered by missiles, but the AI doesn't seem to do that very often. And if it does, it's purely by coincidence. So I'll stick to corvettes for now. And if I face any empire with a lot of missiles, then we'll consider building bigger ships. Alright, we're done with the survey and the other survey. So we can send her to grab the anomaly. Only 15% research risk or failure risk, that's much better. We might still fail, but 15% is much better than 55 so, we still need to increase our energy income by a lot, preferably. Can we get any mining stations? Yes, we can. Over here. Let's do that then. We need more energy. 
I want to build some defense stations, and this costs energy in maintenance. So that's yet another reason to get more energy. This is actually inside our border. We can grab a mining station here. Sounds good, off you go. And it would be nice to grab this area, but I would have to start a frontier outpost to achieve that, unfortunately. And we also need mining stations here. Alright, carry on. How's that colony ship? It's almost done. Any colonizable planets in this area? None that we can see at the moment. Are you guys going to merge or what? Come on. What did we find? Special project. Alright, let's work on that right away then. Might be something useful. Come on, merge faster, go, go. Chop, chop. What are we paying you for? Anything we can build on the planets? Let's see, we do have quite a lot of minerals. Let's upgrade the science lab. What do we want to prioritize? Let's get more engineering. Like so. And upgrade. Right, upgrade to planetary capital. And start clearing some of these blockers. Well, not now. There. Okay, are you guys merging? Hurry up. Everyone is waiting. No pressure. There we go. And now we can upgrade. Off you go then. This will take a while. Meanwhile, we can build more corvettes. Once we get the minerals. The colony ship is done. Let's send the colony ship. So, which planet do we want to colonize next? Let's have a look. Preferably a planet that will expand our borders. So, this one. Yep, looks good. Yeah, this is a reasonably decent planet. Pretty big one, in fact. Where do we want the colonial building? Right here. And we should add that to the sector. Once it's colonized. Complete. Still need more energy. Really need to work on that. Can we move one person? Yeah, sure we can. Plus four is still not amazing. We need a few spaceports and some more solar panels. And more energy from systems in general. Oh yeah, science ship needs something new to do. What did we find? 150 engineering research and 200 experience for the scientists. Yeah, not bad. So, let's keep surveying. Might have to build another wormhole station sometime soon. And by sometime soon, I mean right now? More or less? Yeah, nothing else I can survey, actually. We can survey this system down here. But we'll need another wormhole station. I might be able to just jump to the other side of these guys without border access. Especially if we get another 50% wormhole range increase. I hope we'll have some terraforming materials. These are actually kind of important. Evading hostile fleet. Oh great, more aliens, damn it. Well, these are not very strong, but we are upgrading our fleet. This will have to wait. Okay, fine. Ocean World. Alright, that's another planet we can colonize. Good. At least we know that part. Our trade deal expired. Can we join that alliance? Probably not. They don't have any rivals, so I can't get a positive modifier for having the same rivals when they have none. Which means we won't be able to join that alliance for now. It's not that important. Uh, also, energy... Let's pause for a moment. Can we work some more energy somewhere? I don't think so. Or can we? Well, we can tell our sector to give us more energy. I suppose I'll have to do that for a bit. Not that they have a lot of energy themselves. 25%? Yeah, they don't have a lot of energy themselves. In fact, they are losing energy. So, never mind. 
Can we not get energy somewhere? This guy is unhappy, apparently. Okay. Well, never mind. We'll be at zero for a bit. Ships yeah, it's partially because of happiness. Complete. All right, never mind. Can't really fix that right now. We can build another power plant. And that's about it, yep. Build a power plant here, house food on this planet. Only one. Let's move one guy regardless. We lost some science, which is okay. It won't take long to finish that colony. I just don't want to drop to literally zero. That's about all the energy we can get at the moment. Yep. Need to build some happiness buildings. Also, minerals. Let's get more corvettes. Just start a bunch. I'll build up to naval capacity and then declare war on someone. Probably on these guys. We could try to vassalize them. It can be one of the war goals. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, war score cost 60. I'm not declaring war just yet, I'm just checking. Research complete. Okay. Back to plus 5 energy. And our research is done. Power Hub 2. Useful. What can we get next? Wormhole range. Plus 50%. Or a better reactor. I think I'll go for a better reactor. Or we could go for better shields. We kind of need both. So, yeah. Yeah, we need both. Let's go for better shields first, because that's a cheaper tech. Three times cheaper. Yep, sounds good. Also, terraforming research is almost done. I hope we got some of these resources. At least in this general area. Doesn't have to be literally inside our borders, just in our space. Or somewhere around it. Also, can we survey anything else? No, we need to go beat these guys. So let's go do that. And then we can survey the system. Yeah, we need to go beat all of these aliens. I can't survey anything right now. Research complete. And the research is done. So, what can we research next? Minus 10% resettlement cost. No, I don't really need that. Biolab 2. Plus 10% naval capacity. Plus 2 empire leader capacity. Plus 1 leader pole size. Let's just go for plus 10% leader. I mean, naval capacity. That's a cheap tech. We already got 50% done. It will only take 4 months to finish. Unemployed person. Let's see, what can we get here? Some happiness wouldn't hurt. So, the garden thing? No, we can't build it. Not much point building the power hub, because we are not generating that much power on this planet. If anything, a regular power plant would be better. I suppose. Yeah, regular power plant will be better here. Alright, sounds good. And we should upgrade the power hub. Is that the power hub? Yes. Upgrade. Was that the only power hub we had? Might have been. Alright, carry on then. Only plus two energy at the moment. Minus one foot like this. Nope, can't do that. Yeah, we need to focus on energy for a bit. There is quite a lot of energy in this general area, but these systems are not within my borders, unfortunately. So are we moving in to kill these aliens? Come on, people. There's work to do. Aliens to kill. Off you go.
and we can get constructors to do something useful, I suppose. In this case... Right, let's check these terraforming materials. There's one over here. The gas. We can grab that right away. Anything else? Yep, there's one over here. We need three of one type and one of the other. I don't remember which is which. I think we need three of these. I don't remember, I will have to check. And build a terraforming station somewhere. Okay, we got one here, terraforming liquids. This might be enough. I think we need one terraforming liquid and three terraforming gases, but I might, might be wrong. This is not actually within our space, unfortunately. Well, we have some, that's good. Construction complete. There's another one over here. We do have at least three terraforming gases that we can get. Alright, carry on. What's this? Diplomatic insult from Gog State. I don't really care about what you have to say. Are these aliens dead yet? Hopefully. Almost. Let's send a science ship, preferably the more experienced one, and survey the system. And colony established, good. Now we should add it to the sector. Our research is also done. Arctic colonization. No, I don't really need that because we only got 20%. Right? We do have 20%. Yeah, only 20% to Arctic. We could research uplift. That's not a bad idea. Plus two empire leader capacity. I could use that. We could get more governors that way. And it's a pretty cheap tech. Yep, let's go for that one. One year to finish. Okay. Situation log updated. And we're almost done with our engineering research. This will unlock the cruiser. I don't plan actually building any cruisers for now, but we'll get some in the future. Okay, done. We can go back now. Go back and repair. If there's actually anything to repair, not a whole lot. We should grab that and survey the system. There is a useful planet in the system. Hopefully it will be good. There are still quite a few systems in this direction. And I don't think anyone else will be able to reach them. Maybe these guys. I'm not quite sure which travel type they are using. It mostly depends on that. So what can we get next? Auto cannon. Not a bad idea. Remember, I'm a pacifist, so military techs are less likely to show up here. And when they do, we should definitely research them. Let's go for the auto cannon. That's actually a pretty good one. Anything else we can survey? Not without building more wormhole stations, but we might as well build a wormhole station over here. Yeah, let's just do that right away. Build wormhole station and then we can survey all these systems in this general area. Still got some aliens to kill, but that will have to wait. Plus 8 energy. Slightly better, but we still need to improve that. And still need to clear the blockers. How can we not afford it? Oh yeah, we don't have enough energy. Right. And happiness. This planet has... oh, 65% habitability. We could build a frontier clinic, and we should. That's plus 5% habitability. And food. How's this one? 65%. So, Frontier Clinic again. Should just build a Frontier Clinic everywhere. Especially on these newer planets with 60%. Yep, sounds good to me. Carry on and add that planet to the sector because we're one planet over our limit. We don't have to add it. The first penalty is not that bad, but there's no need to pay 10% energy. We'll just add it, it's fine. Planets, manage sector. 
And that's the one. Yep. Done. Carry on. How's that sector doing anyway? Probably not very well. No, it's not doing very well at all. We can give it some minerals. They are set to financial focus. So hopefully they will focus on energy a bit. The problem with sector AI is that it tends to overly prioritize the blocker removal. So they tend to spend a lot of resources to remove blockers. Which makes them develop rather slowly. It's a little bit annoying. We can check some of these planets. Let's have a look. Well, this one seems to be doing okay. It's actually generating some energy. Alright, carry on. How's our fleet? 31 out of 64. We are nowhere close to our naval limit. Let's just keep building them. Yep. I will build a few cruisers, but I'm waiting for some better shields. And we will build more colony ships as well, don't worry. We still got quite a few planets we can colonize. Survey complete. Is that wormhole station done? Yes, it's done. We can go do something useful with the science ships then. Off you go. And do something useful with the construction ships too. So this guy. Right, don't have enough minerals to build all the mining stations at once. That's fine. That's the one. Doesn't matter which one we're going to start with. And we also need mining stations in this system. And research is done. What did we get? Oh yeah, plus two empire leader capacity. Which means I could grab more governors. What's the next research going to be? Same thing again. Form federation. There's no federation we can possibly form, so that seems slightly pointless. But that is the cheapest tech. I could just go for the Ameba breeding program, but this will not be useful anytime soon because I can't get huge slots on a cruiser. I think we'll just go for the living state. Plus two empire leader capacity is useful. Yeah, let's go for that one. Bit of a shame there was nothing more useful on the list, but oh well. And now we could hire another governor. Let's check who's actually available. Plus 10% to science. That's not bad. Okay, let's check our science output. Yeah, we should actually get that guy on Earth. I like that plan. Welcome aboard. Give me science. 33 out of 66. Just need to double our fleet. And we'll be ready to go to war. Should be fun. Construction complete. System surveyed. Spaceport, spaceport. Oh, continental planet, nice. Finally, some continental planet. And this one is huge. Size 24. Alright, that's a very good planet. We need to colonize that ASAP. Complete. Research complete. And research is done. Right, we finished the shields, good. What's next? We can get even better shields, we can get blue laser, which might not be a bad idea, actually. And it's a cheap tech. Plasma thrower. Let's go for the blue laser, I think. Yep, let's go for the blue laser. So, right, we need a colony ship right away to get that continental planet. And can we actually switch to a slightly better government? We are an enlightened monarchy right now. We can switch to a better government. Plus two core. Yeah, we can get plus one core system planet. And now we'll get seven. Which means I can keep the newest planet. This one. This one is really good. Size 24. I will keep direct control over that one for sure. 
I should have changed the government earlier, I suppose, but better late than never, right? We had the tag for that for a while. Is our hair any good? Let's see, plus 10% food. Yeah, he's not bad. And anomaly. Yep, research that. So, let's check this planet, let's check the surface. Yep, it's pretty good. A lot of blockers, but oh well. We'll remove them. We can settle right here on top of the food. There's some energy nearby. And someone died, leader died. Who's that exactly? Admiral, oh yeah, right. And scientist died. Unfortunate. Industry, plus 5% research speed. Let's just go for flat research speed. Like this. Because that bonus works with everything. Okay, more corvettes, or more colony ships. Nah, let's not colonize too many planets at the same time. We'll just keep building up our fleet. Hold on. Actually, we should upgrade our design, now that we have better shields. Where's our design? Right here. So, can we replace this with level 2? No, we'll be in negative energy. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll just get another reactor. We could do something like this. Yeah, that's not bad. Can we get any better weapons? Hold on, is the disruptor better? 1.82 damage. 82% accuracy. It does have better accuracy. Lower damage though. Plus 100% shield damage. We could get some point defense. I think I'll keep Red Shard for our. This looks reasonable. 100 shields as opposed to 25 with the previous design. That's definitely better. Yep, I'm okay with this design. Save. And now we need to upgrade this. That will take a while. 600 minerals, right. I guess we'll just get 600. Investigate gigantic skeleton. Sounds promising. Sounds like we'll get science from that. Research, and then you can finish the survey. So, how's our fleet strength compared to our neighbors? Equivalent. Their technology level is inferior. Well, our fleet is equivalent when we're at half of our naval capacity. That's promising. Another leader died? No, that was just the previous notification. Let's check our planets really quick. We probably need to build something by now. Or clear some of these silly blockers. Yeah, I suppose we should clear some of these blockers. House food. Plus three. Should be good for a while. Okay, clear some of the blockers. Oh yeah, we can upgrade to planetary administration, good. Plus five food. And next. Zero food. And no governor. Well, now it's going to be plus one. And clear the blocker. Any other planets in need of anything? Not really. We can clear the blocker. Okay, looks good, carry on. So, how's that colony ship? It's almost done. Will be done soon. Nothing overly useful in this system other than that one planet. Not that I'm complaining, it's a very good planet. Probably one of the best planets we found so far. Construction complete. Yeah, our biggest planet is what? Size 20? That's going to be our biggest planet, by quite a significant margin. Also, we are very low on influence. What did we get? Oh, nice! Plus 3 society research and plus 3 engineering on one single planet. Which system was that again? This one, over here. What are these guys doing here? Space Ameba. We need to take care of that. Construction complete. Yes, we do. Are they going to attack the scientists? No, they aren't doing anything. 
Okay. I need this system within my borders. Ocean world. Okay, we probably want to colonize that at some point. Before my neighbor steals that system. If only I knew what kind of warp drive these guys are using. But no way to find out right now. Well, the Ameba isn't doing anything, but we kind of need to kill them anyway. I mean, I don't have to kill them. But I want to. Science ship again. Off you go. And actually, I'm going to make a cut here. Continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.